The following is a presentation of TFNN. Hi, folks. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and welcome to our TFNN workshop, Understanding Probability. I'm grateful for your presence here tonight. I'm so excited to make a difference in your life, and I'm honored by your trust. For many of you, tonight will be a defining moment in your trading career. I know this for a fact because each time I share this information that you're about to hear tonight, I get all kinds of emails from the attendees. Now, tonight's show shouldn't be any different, and it's easy to reach me. All you have to do is send me an email at steve at tfnn.com. Now, successful trading and investing come down to just a few small things that make all the difference in the world. It works this way with everything in life. At least that's how I find it. You see, successful athletes, and I know a bunch of them, successful athletes know a few small things that set themselves apart. Successful salespeople, I definitely know some of them, they know a few small things that, that, that set themselves apart as well. How about successful moms and successful dads? They absolutely know a few small things that make a huge difference in successful parenting. How about successful chefs? They absolutely have their secrets too. Basically, folks, successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't. And tonight's no different. I'm going to teach you some of the successful things that traders, that real money masters do, that unsuccessful traders don't. You see, success, folks, it's a strategy. It's a strategy that has four basic ingredients. Those basic ingredients are as follow, follows. These four things, potential, ingredient number one, action, ingredient number two, results, ingredient number three, and belief, that's your fourth ingredient. When you put these four ingredients together, you can produce a life of abundance with amazing results. And that's, folks, what I want you to be able to do. That's where we begin tonight. Let me share with you one of the secrets in trading. It's called the power of one. No, one is not the loneliest number. One is instead the most outstanding number you'll ever know. So, Steve, what does the number one have to do with trading? I'm glad you asked me that, class. Now, let me ask you a question. Let's assume that for simply attending this webinar, I give you $100,000 in trading capital. Now, I'll bet you're glad you signed up for this webinar now, aren't you? Am I right or am I right? No, 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 that's not why I get so many thank you emails after hosting an event like this. Although, that absolutely would be motivation. So, look, let's get back on track here. Picture me handing you $100,000 in trading capital. Now, here's the question. If I told you that you could only risk 1% of that trading capital on each trade, in other words, that would be $1,000 on your first trade. So that's $100,000 times 1%. That equals $1,000. How many losing trades in a row would you have to make before you would lose all the money that I just gave to you? So on your first trade, as an example, you start with $100,000 and you lose $1,000. How many trades in a row would it take you to lose all one hundred grand? Now, most people, in an instant, can give you a number. Now, it's the number 100 that most people give. But 100 is not the correct number. You see, if you could only risk 1% of your trading capital on each trade, the first trade, you would lose $1,000. But on the second trade, since the math computation is now $99,000, times 1%, that means you would be risking $990 versus the $1,000 on the first trade. So how important is that little thing? Well, let me answer it like this. If you only risk 1% of your trading capital on each trade, and you went ahead and you lost on 688 trades in a row, that's how many trades it would take you to get down to a hundred dollars. It's not a hundred trades. That's six hundred and eighty-eight 
versus the hundred that most folks would have guessed at first. Now, this is really an important trading secret that I want you to use from this point forward. Never, and I mean never, risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. I don't care if it's a stock, an ETF, a currency, a, you know, a currency contract, an options contract. I don't care what it is. Only risk 1% of your trading capital. Sounds pretty small, right? You know how you hear folks say that you should take a trade if there's a 3 to 1 reward to risk, meaning that you would risk $1 to make $3? It's a fairly sound principle. But last, let me ask you another question. How many winning trades would you have to make to double your $100,000 if your reward to risk ratio turned out to only be 2 to 1 and all the while never risking more than 1% of your trading capital. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's not a hundred winning trades. In fact, it's only 35 winning trades. 35 winning trades in a row would double your money with a two to one reward to risk ratio. 35 winning trades to make a hundred grand and 688 trades to lose a hundred thousand dollars. This folks is the power of one, the power of one percent. It's not the loneliest number. This, folks, is the power of understanding probability management when it comes to your trading capital. Now, there's always someone in attendance that wants to know, how many winning trades in a row, Steve, would it take if you had that 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio to double your hundred grand by only risking 1%? You know, and it's a great question. The answer, folks, 23 winning trades in a row. 23 winning trades to make a hundred grand versus 688 losing trades to lose $100,000. 1% will do more to protect your assets and at the same time, grow your assets. When you wrap your head around 1%, you'll be ready to unleash your potential. Folks, I got a question for you. Are you ready to unleash your potential? Well, in order to unleash your potential, you've got to take action. And the action, it's called placing a trade. But before placing a trade, I've got to share with you the most important 19-word sentence that I know of. This, my friends, is the key to your world bank of abundance. Get out your pad of paper and write this down. The most important aspect of success in trading, other than psychology, is how much to invest in any given position. That's right. Let me repeat it. The most important aspect of success in trading, other than psychology, is how much to invest in any given position. I want you to tape that sentence to your trading monitor. You know, again, that most important aspect of success in trading in any market, doesn't matter whether it's stocks, bonds, futures, forex, it's how much to invest in any given position. Look, money management means many different things to many people. For our purposes... And from tonight forward, money management should define your position size. How many shares or contracts you're going to put on given the size of your trading account as it relates to your risk. And for our purposes, risk is defined by the amount of your trading capital that you're willing to lose on your trade. Risk is not the full value of the stock that you own unless you're willing to lose 100% of the value of that stock. If you're trading without a stop loss, then you're definitely risking 100% on your trade. So please don't ever do this. Do not ever do this. Risk, folks, it's the very first thing you determine before you purchase a stock, before you purchase a bond, a futures contract, a currency contract. I don't care what it is. It's your first calculation. You determine how much money of your trading capital you're going to risk before you even decide what it is you're going to purchase. We've defined risk here right now tonight as 1% of our trading capital. So the second element to any trade is how much per share purchase you're willing to risk before you decide that your investment decision was the wrong decision. This is called your stop loss. Think of it like this. If you purchase a stock that's selling for $30 per share and you decide that you're, you know, you decide what your stop loss is going to be. Let's assume that what you decide is that your stop loss is going to be $2. This means 
that if we purchase our stock at thirty dollars and any time after that it sells down to twenty eight dollars, we don't care why it just trades down to twenty eight dollars, then we're going to sell that stock, and we will have incurred a loss of two dollars per share. That is our stop loss. I want you to always think in terms of risk when investing, and by the way, risk stands for real investing starts with knowledge. So now that we've defined our risk for our example, we can calculate our position size as it relates to that risk. This is a straightforward calculation. Since we already know our risk factors, it's an easy division problem, and it's as follows. You're going to take your total risk that you're allocating to the trade in dollars. You're going to divide that by your unit risk, your stop loss. So staying with our trading plan that we identified a few minutes ago, our risk is $1,000 of our hundred grand in trading capital that I so eagerly gave to you. And our risk per share is two bucks. So we're simply going to take our $1,000 in risk divide it by the two dollars of our stop loss and that tells us what our position size is we should buy five hundred shares so let's just say we purchase our stock for thirty dollars a share therefore we need investment capital of fifteen grand to complete the trade so we're going to be using fifteen percent of our trading capital that's going to leave us with eighty five thousand dollars to trade with eighty five thousand dollars that i suggest on your next trade you only risk 1% of that, $850. We've had a tremendous response to this workshop. I can't thank you enough for your continued support. And I know the value of your time. And my promise is to make this the most valuable 30 minutes of your day. And because we have such a large audience this evening, the most efficient use of my time will be for me to help you understand probability management aspects that, that will make you a more successful trader. I'll take a few questions at the end of the workshop, and it's possible that you have questions right now. This, in my opinion, is a good thing. It's a great thing because I know that when I have questions, it means that I'm about to learn something. So as a question arises, just write it down on a pad of paper next to you, and if I don't answer it during my Q&A session... Then, folks, just send me an email at steve at tfnn.com, and I'll be happy to get back to you. And all questions are good questions, folks. I'm here to help. Now, give me a second just to better introduce myself. As many of you know, I'm partners with Tom O'Brien at Tiger Metals Exchange, which we started almost two years ago. I'm also co-host of the Money Masters show with Tom, and we do that show each Monday through Friday from 10 to 11. And I also host the Trader's Edge each Tuesday and Thursday from 11 to 12. I'm also author of two newsletters. One's called Mastering Probability. It's a daily investment and trading newsletter. And I'm also author of Celestial Charting. It's a twice a month webcast that I do each, every other Wednesday from about three to four. And it's a service that helps to identify lunar and planetary indicators that provide a unique trader's edge. These are indicators that nearly that most people don't use they're not even aware of them great services something that you should consider for sure now for most understanding probability it's a different way of thinking you know you've all heard the golden rule of trading is to cut your losses short and let your profits run right however the golden rule presupposes that you got to know when the whole Never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. This means you know when to exit your position. Now, thinking in terms of probability requires you to think outside of the box. So, let me give you a trading rule that most people think is designed to get rid of your losses, but in practice, it totally goes against the golden rule of trading. Instead, this is an exit strategy that produces large losses and small profits. This strategy has you enter the market with a position size and then scale out with various exits. So, for example, you might start with 300 shares and sell 100 of them when you can break even on all 300 shares. You might even sell another 100 shares 
at a $500 profit, and then keep the last 100 shares for a huge $1,500 profit. Now, short-term traders use this type of strategy frequently. And on a gut level, folks, on a gut level, on a logic level, this sort of trading makes sense because you seem to be insuring your profits. But if you step back, if you really study this strategy, you'll see how dangerous this type of trading is. What you're actually doing with this sort of tr uh, exit strategy is practicing the reverse of the golden rule of trading. You see, you're making sure that you'll have multiple positions when you take the largest losses. In this example, you would lose on all 300 shares. You're also making sure that you only have a minimal size position when you make your largest gains. 100 shares in our example. This is the perfect method for people with a strong bias to be right. But it doesn't optimize profits or even guarantee profits. This strategy overlooks the importance of understanding probability, understanding risk management, and understanding position sizing. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Look, let me show you on this specific transaction what the numbers look like. Now envision yourself either taking a full loss or a full profit on the trade. And when you're taking a full profit, it's based upon the full completion of your pattern, whatever it is that you're trading. So the numbers on this trade work out like this. In the multiple exit strategy, you would have been risking $600, assuming a $2 stop was used, and you would have earned a $2,200 profit. That is 200 on the first 100 shares, 500 on the second 100 shares, and 1,500 on the final 100 shares, a 3.67 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Nice going, absolutely, and not a bad trade. But the risk-reward ratio calculation is your profit. And in this case, $2,200 divided by your risk, which was the 600 bucks in this case. So again, that's how you come up with the 3.67 to 1 risk-to-reward ratio. However, if you would follow the golden rule of trading, cutting your losses short and letting your profits run, you would have earned a profit of 4500 bucks, which is our 300 shares times our $15 per share profit or a 7.5 to 1 reward to risk ratio. Our $4,500 profit divided by our $600 in risk. 4,500 bucks versus 2,200. That's a 205% increase from that scale out exit strategy. Look, if you've, if you've used this type of strategy, entering the market with a large position size, and then scaling out with various exits, then when you get a chance, Go back and take a look at your past trades and determine how much of a difference understanding probability applied to the golden rule strategy would have made for you and how much that would have added to your trading capital. You might just be amazed at how much money you would have made holding on to a full position. The real point here, folks, is that the real money masters, the most successful traders, understand probability management. So to this point, we have two of the four elements of our success strategy. You know, ingredient number one is potential. And you now understand the potential and the power of risking no more than 1% of your trading capital on any one trade. You understand that you would need 866 losses in a row to burn through nearly 100% of your working capital, whereas you only need 23 wins in a row to double your money, and that's with a 3 to 1 reward to risk ratio, or 35 winning trades in a row to double your money with a 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. 35 or 23 versus 866. Folks, that power of 1, that power of 1%, this is what should help you to overcome your biggest fear, your biggest fear about losing money. Losing money is part of the money game. It's just simply this part of the business. But if you do it right, if you use 1%, if you use this probability, you will be amazed at how much you can amass. Now, ingredient number two, that's what I call action. And this is called, you know, placing the trade with the correct position size. And proper position sizing, folks, will have more of an impact on your trading than the 1% risk calculation. And you've seen the power of one. 
Now, one of the keys to proper position sizing is your per share stop calculation. So many traders use very tight stops, and in the end, the result is that they get stopped out of a trade that, quite frankly, they were right about to begin with. Have you ever had this experience? You know, you used too tight of a stop, you got stopped out, and the trade really ended up working. What I want you to do is I want you to try widening your stop because, you know, really, you already know what your 1% risk is. So by widening your stop, all that you're doing is you're reducing the number of shares in your position size. But, folks, this may keep you in a trade for a longer period of time, especially during volatile trading markets like the ones we have today. Stop calculations, folks, that's a whole nother webinar unto itself and perhaps something that I can do for you in the future. But I can't go through all those possibilities right now. So, you know, let's get to ingredient number three of our success strategy. And ingredient number three is what I call result. And let's take a look at a trade setup, you know, uh, the type of information that you should be calculating before you enter the trade. Now, the easiest way for me to do this is to review the trade setup information that I generate for myself each and every time I enter the trade. This is exactly the same thing that I provide to my subscribers of my Mastering Probability newsletter service. And this, folks, quite frankly, this is exactly what you should be doing for your trades. I don't care whether it's day trading, swing trading, long-term trading, doesn't matter whether it's currencies, whether it's uh, uh, options, this is what you should be doing. So let me just, you know, for ease purposes, let me just pop up here the August 9th trade that I first put on. So at 9.22 a.m., my subscribers received the following email, if you will. Here's the body of the email. And they received a Twitter and a text alert and basically said, hey, look, buy the cues at the open. It should be somewhere in the $50 and 78 cent range. Put in a hard stop as calculated below. Risk only one half of a percent of your trading capital. So I didn't want my traders, I didn't want my subscribers risking one percent here. We risked a half a percent. And I said, if this trade works, we'll add to our position. And if you buy the QLD, trade it off the queues, meaning stop out of the uh, uh, QLD trade just like you would if you were in the queues, if they traded, if the queues trade at 48.86 or lower. Now, folks, you know what I do is I have a projected entry price, so I know where it is I'm going to enter. I have calculated my hard stop. I know what my per share stop is. I know how much trading capital I've risked. In this case here, it's a half a percent. I know, and this is information I provide to my subscribers so they don't have to do the calculations. I, I come up with a position size in terms of each $10,000 increment of capital. So that way somebody who has 50000 in capital, you just have to multiply 5 times 26, or you know you've got about 125 shares. If it was 100000 in your account, you'd be looking at somewhere around 260 shares, 250 to 260. We already have our exit price. This is an exit price that my uh, subscribers already have in to their system, into their trading platform. They're going to exit at 59.29 unless otherwise notified. So we've already identified what our per share profit is, $8.51. We know what our reward to risk is. It's the 851 divided by the dollar 92. That gives us a 4.44, you know, reward to risk ratio. As far as how much of, you know, to buy 26 shares at around $50.78, that would take up about 13% of your portfolio. Since the Q's is an index ETF, um, you know, covering 100 uh, stocks, that works for me. That's no problem. I don't mind allocating 13%. I don't mind allocating 26%. I don't mind allocating 30%. I know what my risk is, and, uh, uh, and I know my dollar risk per 10000 is 50 bucks. That's what I'm looking at. Now, folks... At 10.33 that same day, my subscribers received an alert to add the other half percent of their position at a price of about $52.06, with a stop on that second portion at $50.14. You see, folks, what we do is we add to winning positions. These are the type of results that you also want in your trading. And what I'm going to tell you is you want to add to winning positions. Never average down. I don't want you to add to losing positions. To me, that's not a success strategy. And, you know, we actually added a third position uh, last week as well. So I like to uh, buy them 
when people won't, and I like to sell them when people don't. Now, let's talk about our final element of the winning strategy. And that final element, perhaps the most important element, folks, is belief. You see, belief is the most important element of manifesting that which you want into your life. You can't have a winning strategy without belief. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your system. You've got to believe in your coaches. You've got to believe in your vision of what you want in your life. Belief is the psychology of trading. It is the fourth and final element, and it is key. Remember that 19-word sentence I had you write down, and hopefully you've taped that to your trading monitor? Let me give you that sentence again. That sentence was the most important aspect of success in trading, other than psychology, is how much to invest in any given position. The psychological element of trading, quite frankly, the cycle element, the psychological element of anything you want to succeed at in life represents about 80% of your success formula. Your belief system is key, folks. You know, a great example that I like to relate to trading is a review of legendary baseball player Ted Williams and his probability approach to hitting. I want you to use Ted Williams' approach to psychology. It will provide you, it will provide you folks, with a legendary life as well. Now, Ted Williams, he spent 21 years you know, playing for the uh, Boston Red Sox. That was his baseball career, if you will. And Ted was the last player in the major leagues to bat over 400 in a single season. In 1941, he actually hit 406. Now, in his book, The Science of Hitting, he explained his technique. Ted divided the strike zone into 77 cells, each representing the size of a baseball. Now, Ted would insist on swinging only at balls in his best cells, even at the risk of striking out, because reaching for those worst spots would seriously reduce his chances of success. Folks, as a stock investor, as a stock trader, you can watch all sorts of prices thrown at you all the time. For the most part, you don't have to do a thing other than be amused. You see, if you're patient, you will find a fat pitch that is slow, that is straight, and that is right over the middle of your sweet spot. Then what happens, folks? You've got that belief, and you swing hard. This way, no matter what natural ability you start with, you will substantially increase your hitting average. This, folks, is what risk control, your 1% potential, your position sizing, your action steps that you take for preparing for your trade, and your probability result by being patient and taking the best trades, and then your belief, swinging for the fences with all your might. That's what it's all about, folks. You know, when I began this presentation this evening, I asked you to picture me giving you $100,000. The cool thing is that I know that I've done just that and then some. Some of you will take this information and improve your trading, while others will take massive action and take advantage of my subscriber services, which, by the way, you can have for 30 days with an unconditional money-back guarantee. And those that do, you'll manifest much, much more than $100,000 into your life. Now, in a minute, I'm going to give. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give those randomly chosen names to three lucky listeners for our Great Panther Silver Giveaway. Now, you've got to be present to win. So when I call your name, I'm just going to ask you to type into the system, you know, present so that I know that you're here. And if you're not here, then we'll go on to our next name. So, you know, I hope that tonight has been a great education for you. And if you're looking to continue your educational journey, then you'll love my video emails that are included in my newsletter service. Plus, you've got access to me by phone and email, you know, so long as you remain a subscriber. So I really do want to help you take your trading to a whole new level. This isn't a sales pitch. I am sincere, folks. The bottom line is I am sincere about wanting to help you take your trading, your investing, to a whole new level. You know, mastering probability as a money management tool is all about learning how to play the game of money. And that will teach you how to play the game of money like no other. And the reality is that, quite frankly, folks, this decision is what I call a no-brainer. Since you get a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, it's impossible for you to lose. Impossible. 
and I would rather you try my service, even knowing that you might likely only use it for 30 days. Please take advantage of the self. Give yourself this gift. You should really give it a try. There's a 100% probability. Listen to this. There's a 100% probability that you will receive much, much more than what you pay for. So it's just simply, folks, it's the way I operate. It always has been. It always will be. I learned a long time ago the power of giving unconditionally. So, again, thank you so much for your presence here tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to take some questions right now. And, and look, folks, successful people, they, what I do know is they absolutely do the things that unsuccessful people don't. And I, I really do congratulate you for taking action, for taking massive action and joining me this evening. In, in a world where people, you know, they talk about taking an action, you're one of the few who did, and I absolutely congratulate you. So I'm happy to take some questions. And uh, let's see, will let's see, will slides for the presentation be made available to attendees? I believe uh, that uh, this is going to be on Tiger TV for a while so i believe that this is being taped and that it will be posted up there and you'll be able to take a look at those uh, slides uh okay we got yes the archive will be posted tomorrow do you trade the es mini yes um uh, how do you calculate risk for options you know i am not an option trader um but you know what we can do is uh, we've got a great show on uh, Tuesdays with Don Kaufman. And what I'll do is I'll get to Don. Uh, do you, uh, by any chance, Glenn from uh, Glenn, do you listen to the option show? Do you listen to the Tuesday option show? Can't tell if he does. So, uh, Glenn, if I will, not usually. Okay. Look, it's a great option. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe Tom and I can uh, cover it tomorrow if you listen to our show from uh, 10 to 11. But uh, go ahead and send me an email and then either myself or we're done. Uh, you know, one of us will get back to you on that. Do I still feel that trade for the Qs is a good trade? Uh, I like our entry price on the Qs. I think that it's a good trade. You know, in this market, uh, you don't know until you watch how the market plays out. There is nothing that has changed uh, from all of the work that I've done from the time that we entered that trade that would make me think otherwise. Uh, you know, uh, overnight, uh, anything can happen. Uh, we've got our stops that we've adjusted, and so, uh, and I don't think that these stops would get jumped. So either way, we're in the money. So I think that it's good. Let's see, where do you sign up for the daily silver drawing? I can't find it on the website. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Eddie, I'm not. It, it should be right there under uh, on the. Maybe it's under breaking news, or it's on the carousel. So you should be able to sign that. Oh, we've got the link right there. Okay, so the link has been provided. Great, thank you. You're welcome for uh, you're you're welcome for the webinar. Thank you for joining me. Um, have I moved my stop on the second Q position? Well, my subscribers uh, received a uh, email update uh, that uh, shows exactly where to uh, place their stops. Okay, well, I, you know, uh, let's see what uh, what was your QQQ first entry? Uh, I'd have to go back and look. Our first entry price on the Qs was right around fifty seventy eight. Uh, Steve, you're a great coach. Uh, I'll put some my game. Oh, you're welcome. Are you long on the full moon cycle? Well, we are in the full moon cycle, uh, so we are long there, uh, as well as some other uh, ABC patterns. And so, you know, so there's a number of reasons why we went long, why my subscribers and I went long. And uh, we use we use these uh, lunar cycles, these astro cycles, as timing indicators. But what really has priority in trading is uh, price, and some of those price things are going to be patterns, whether they're Gartley, butterflies, ABCDs, or retracement patterns. Um, do I have a spreadsheet? I, I, I have a private spreadsheet template for position sizing. I am working on a tool um, that uh, hopefully my subscribers will be able to use. Um, let's see. If purchase crew limited contract, how do you calculate risk? Uh, again, you know what you're taking a look at. Your 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 risk is really going to be one percent of your trading capital. So let's just say it's a thousand dollars. You know, in our example here, and you know, you just simply have to identify, uh, you know, exactly what your uh, what each uh, what each point is worth, and you have to be able to put in a hard stop. So you know, if you're trading that, I imagine that you're using some type of trading platform where you have your stops in place. And that way, overnight, you know, while you're sleeping, it's the same thing It's the same thing with uh, trading currency. And that is that you have your hard stop in place. And, you know, it very rarely do you see... Uh, do you see your uh, do you see your trades getting stopped? So it's actually works great. It's better. 
you, you, you have less of a chance of stops getting jumped when you're in the futures marketplace or in your currency marketplace versus the stocks. Um, the lose letters are a must help me greatly. Thank you. Uh, why not, uh, why not sell at 54, 20 trend broke? Uh, because there's a longer term pattern in place. And so, you know, if you go back to the beginning of the webinar with regard to, uh, the money management game is understanding that, uh, you know, what I want to do is I want to let the pattern completely, uh, move. Uh, I want to play out here because I put in all the risk early and I want to take all the reward. Uh, you know, we move stops to protect ourselves, and if that's what happens, the mark moves back, then so be it. But otherwise, I want the pattern to play out. So uh, in any event, uh, folks, uh, thanks. I know I've got some folks that uh, are here that are working. And uh, if, you, uh, if you'd like, again, and I haven't gotten to your question, please, by all means, send me an email at steve at tfnn.com. Uh, give us a call tomorrow uh, on the show, on the Money Masters show, or my show at uh, 11 to 12. And again, I'm really grateful for your presence here tonight, folks. Uh, thanks, and uh, take advantage of uh, of my service. There is absolutely nothing to lose. You will you will learn more, and uh, you get all the uh, you get all of the uh, all of the back uh, historical uh, information. So that'll help you as well. And by the way, the the newsletters that I do, folks, there's something that's unique about it. What I do is I do a lot of uh, video. Uh, updates. So what you're getting is you're getting an education uh, along with it. So when I'm taking a look at a specific trade or what we might be doing, you know, today we had some trades that I looked at over the weekend. We took a trade off the uh, plate and I did a video update so that folks understood exactly what it was that we were looking for. So it's more than just a newsletter. It's more than it's more than just a trading service. You know, it's an overall education. And if uh, if you learn something here tonight, you know, that's nothing compared to what it is that I can teach you if you uh, continue on this journey. So, folks, again, thanks so much. Have a great evening, and I look forward to uh, talking to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye now.